Mirror Image Wikipedia Article Audio A mirror image is a reflected duplication of an object that appears almost identical, but is reversed in the direction perpendicular to the mirror surface. As an optical effect it results from reflection off of substances such as a mirror or water. It is also a concept in geometry and can be used as a conceptualization process for 3D structures. In Geometry and Geometrical Optics In Two Dimensions In Three Dimensions Effect of Mirror on the Lighting of the Scene Mirror Writing Systems of Mirrors In Geometry the mirror image of an object or two-dimensional figure is the virtual image formed by reflection in a plane mirror, it is of the same size as the original object, yet different, unless the object or figure has reflection symmetry. Two-dimensional mirror images can be seen in the reflections of mirrors or other reflecting surfaces, or on a printed surface seen inside out. If we look at an object that is effectively two-dimensional and then turn it towards a mirror, the object turns through an angle of 180 degree and we see a left-right reversal in the mirror. In this example, it is the change in orientation rather than the mirror itself that causes the observed reversal. Another example is when we stand with our backs to the mirror and face an object that's in front of the mirror. Then we compare the object with its reflection by turning ourselves 180 degree, towards the mirror. Again we perceive a left-right reversal due to a change in orientation. So, in these examples the mirror does not actually cause the observed reversals. The concept of reflection can be extended to three-dimensional objects, including the inside parts, even if they are not transparent. The term then relates to structural as well as visual aspects. A three-dimensional object is reversed in the direction perpendicular to the mirror surface. In physics, mirror images are investigated in the subject called geometrical optics. In chemistry, two versions of a molecule, one a mirror image of the other, are called enantiomers if they are not superposable on each other. That is an example of chirality. In general, an object and its mirror image are called enantiomorphs. If a point of an object has coordinates then the image of this point has coordinates. Thus reflection is a reversal of the coordinate axis perpendicular to the mirror's surface. Although a plane mirror reverses an object only in the direction normal to the mirror surface, there is usually a perception of a left-right reversal. Hence, the reversal is called lateral inversion. The perception of a left-right reversal is probably because the left and right of an object are defined by its perceived top and front, but there is still some debate about the explanation amongst psychologists. The psychology of the perceived left right reversal is discussed in Much Ado About Mirrors by Professor Michael Corbalis. Reflection in a mirror does result in a change in chirality, more specifically from a right handed to a left handed coordinate system. As a consequence, if one looks in a mirror and lets two axes coincide with those in the mirror, then this gives a reversal of the third axis. If a person stands side on to a mirror, left and right will be reversed directly by the mirror, because the person's left-right axis is then normal to the mirror plane. However, it's important to understand that there are always only two enantiomorphs, the object and its image. Therefore, no matter how the object is oriented towards the mirror, all the resulting images are fundamentally identical. In the picture of the mountain reflected in the lake, the reversal normal to the reflecting surface is obvious. Notice that there is no obvious front back or left right of the mountain. In the example of the urn and mirror, 
the urn is fairly symmetrical front-back. Thus, no obvious reversal of any sort can be seen in the mirror image of the urn. A mirror image appears more obviously three-dimensional if the observer moves, or if the image is viewed using binocular vision. This is because the relative position of objects changes as the observer's perspective changes, or is differently viewed with each eye. Looking through a mirror from different positions is like looking at the 3D mirror image of space, without further mirrors only the mirror image of the half space before the mirror is relevant, if there is another mirror, the mirror image of the other half space is too. A mirror does not just produce an image of what would be there without it, it also changes the light distribution in the half space in front of and behind the mirror. A mirror hanging on the wall makes the room brighter because additional light sources appear in the mirror image. However, the appearance of additional light does not violate the conservation of energy principle, because some light no longer reaches behind the mirror as the mirror simply redirects the light energy. In terms of the light distribution, the virtual mirror image has the same appearance and the same effect as a real, symmetrically arranged half-space behind a window. Shadows may extend from the mirror into the half-space before it, and vice versa. In mirror writing a text is deliberately displayed in mirror image, in order to be read through a mirror. For example, emergency vehicles such as ambulances or fire engines use mirror images in order to be read from a driver's rearview mirror. Some movie theaters also take advantage of mirror writing in a rear window captioning system used to assist individuals with hearing impairments watching the film. In the case of two mirrors, in planes at an angle alpha, Looking through both from the sector which is the intersection of the two half-spaces, is like looking at a version of the world rotated by an angle of 2 alpha, the points of observations and directions of looking for which this applies correspond to those for looking through a frame like that of the first mirror, and a frame at the mirror image with respect to the first plane, of the second mirror. If the mirrors have vertical edges then the left edge of the field of view is the plane through the right edge of the first mirror and the edge of the second mirror which is on the right when looked at directly, but on the left in the mirror image. In the case of two parallel mirrors, looking through both once is like looking at a version of the world which is translated by twice the distance between the mirrors, in the direction perpendicular to them, away from the observer. Since the plane of the mirror in which one looks directly is beyond that of the other mirror, one always looks at an oblique angle, and the translation just mentioned has not only a component away from the observer, but also one in a perpendicular direction. The translated view can also be described by a translation of the observer in opposite direction. For example, with a vertical periscope, the shift of the world is away from the observer and down, both by the length of the periscope, but it is more practical to consider the equivalent shift of the observer, up, and backward. It is also possible to create a non-reversing mirror by placing two first surface mirrors at 90 degree to give an image which is not reversed.